Would you like free entry to some of Australia's most popular events, perhaps even save a life? Well, the St John Ambulance Service is looking for new volunteer recruits and is also urging parents and carers of young children to sign up for its first aid courses. Jonathan Cooper is from the St John Ambulance and knows too well how ill-equipped we are to deal with an accident or emergency around the home. He joins us this morning to deliver a wake-up call and to lift the lid on the first aid kit to reveal the essentials within. Good morning, Jonathan. Good morning, Good morning. Good morning. Thanks Good morning for coming Thank you. Can you. We've spoken with the St John Ambulance before. Can you, can you just recap? Tell us who they are. Well, St John is, is a self funded organisation and that's an important thing that we're not a, a commercial operation where we're uh, doing all sorts of projects and things. It's basically the, the sale of our kits and our training is directly injected back into the volunteer base and the organisation. So the not-for-profit umbrella and statement is where we're at and that's why we drive the awareness and with the awareness and sales we get the revenue back into our teams across Australia so it's fantastic. Do people take this seriously enough? Uh, it's a good question because I think first aid is one of those things we, we hear, we see, mm. we're trained in the workplace in, in some sort of training, but I don't think we really take it seriously enough. And you look mm. at how many cars are on the road, how many people are driving. How many swimming how pools there are. Swimming yeah. pools, um, babysitters looking after children, young children, grandparents nowadays, and we're not promoting that sort of first aid level of training. And the training's changed now. It's really quite easy. I was yeah. going to ask you that because I, my wife and I got decided when we had our first child 12 years ago that we really should know how to deal with an emergency so we went off and we did some some courses and I remember Dr ABC has that changed Dr ABC is still there Thank it goodness is still for that. it's still DR ABC is still the core the core method of use but the 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 time in training courses has changed dramatically. I mean, a senior level two that we heard of was four days, some were mm. four and a half. You can do that in two days now. Mm. So you it know, doesn't require, require the same amount of time. Because parents are time poor, aren't they? Parents are time poor. And one of the courses that we're big on at the moment is what we call Kids First. And Kids First is a four-hour course. So it's half a day, it's nothing. And it's tailored for children up to 12 years old. So what do you I'm going to do that course. Well, yep. we're going to offer it to... Well, I just meant yep. to say to you... we actually for children up to 12 years old. No, 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 for no, parents no. of children up to 12 years age. That's right, isn't it? For parents of children parents, up to... Parents, babysitters, grandparents, friends, oh, anyone okay. who's caring for children at that age. Yeah. Okay. Kids first is... And it's, it's about $100 in four hours. It's oh, so nothing. you're not training the kids? No, 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 we train yeah. the parents for the kids. Oh, OK. Do right. you know why I'm so keen? Because I, I was in Sydney on the weekend and a girlfriend of mine's child a few weeks before had nearly drowned in a pool and everyone was around and someone accidentally left a door open and you just... It's that quick. Yeah, it's so quick. There was quick. a story, just a quick one, down in um, Victoria last week where a two-year-old got hit by a car in the bush and mum saw him get hit. He was non-breathing and unconscious for about 30 seconds. She knew first aid, was a St John trained person, on the side of the road revived him and he right. had a broken collarbone and went home. Right. So, oh. I mean, that gives you chills, doesn't it? Does, it does. And, mm. and it's one of those things we hear of, and that's, I suppose, part of my position, is, is to profile the awareness, to get this known. It's so easy, it's simple, it's not that long, it's not that much money, and it can save lives. So it's four hours? I mean, Kids what, first? Yeah, yeah kids, kids first, first four, four hours. hours. So, so what, do you, what do you train in that four hours? I mean, what, what are the essentials to know? Oh, the essentials brief? are obviously CPR, um, the DRABC approach. Yeah. And also Just explain that. The danger, DRA, yeah. Yeah, danger, danger is the D. Make sure you're in a safe... Response, yeah. If, if, if a child's uh, going to fall back in the pool or, or near, near something electrical, remove the or danger. by the road, so move it. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Response, tapping them, open their eyes, can you hear me? Making sure their airway is the A, is clear. Breathing, are they breathing? And then circulation. So working through that approach um, will give you the, the synopsis of what's going on with that patient. So... OK, but I, w I was interested because there's now a D at the end of the D, Dr ABC. There's now D, which is this machine here. Ah, mm. the defibrillator. Yeah. yeah. Um, do you want to go on this, to have a look at this? Yes, yes. Yeah, absolutely. To. Look, this is a defibrillator that we get from Cardiac Science, a provider. And the best thing about this, it's called an AED, which is an automated external defibrillator. Now, I mean, I think you felt the weight of this before. Yes. It's lightweight. Light. 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 Lighter than a briefcase. Yeah, lighter mm. than... And it's fantastic because when we say auto, this will start talking in one second. And you'll hear... It's a bit loud, but you might hear the voice come up in one second and you'll start talking about... So um, this is this is something that tear open anyone package can... and remove pads. See? So he's telling you to tear, tear open, open package and remove pads. So so it's a step by step guide on how to use it for tear someone who's never used one. And yep. remove pads. Absolutely. It'll walk you through Choose the whole one thing. Pad from plastic and then liner. No. Do you hear any more? Yeah, we can probably close, we can close it. Down. <laughs> it what it does is it, it's an automated system where it talks you through the actual process, how to put the pads on, where to put them. Then it will assess the rhythm of the patient if it's needs to shock it will say stand clear of patient um, so shocking is, patient this is like the the, the 
the paddles. This is to, uh, yeah, to, yeah, to get yeah. the rhythm of the hard back. Yeah. Yeah. So, well, I mean, yeah. the old-fashioned sort of you know movies and the big gel and the big paddles. Yeah, stand um, clear, all of that. that that's it nowadays. Yeah. And, and, and that, that's accessible to anyone these days. So any sporting organisation, any home, any, anyone, any anyone. business. If you've got a, if a your husband or wife has got a heart condition and you're paranoid, you can carry it in the car. Right. And what, oh, wow. what are those worth? What's something like Just that under three thousand dollars. Right. Now so I say that that's a plasma TV. You know, that's what people are buying on home entertainment. Well, yeah. this could save a lot. Yeah, so if you've got a dicky ticker, it's great to have around the yeah. home, isn't and it? Yeah. And the other th the other thing with these is that a lot of them are going into public places, like Melbourne Airport, for example, has quite a few on the wall. You'll see a red box with auto defibrillator. Um, sporting events, the MCG has them, yeah. but they're, once again, the awareness is not there. Is what they and, and you can just do an hour or two training course on that. You could walk in right now to our headquarters in Melbourne, get one of those out of a box, and do an hour training, and you're equipped to defibrillate someone who's had a cardiac arrest. One thing David and I were talking about yesterday when we were talking about this segment, I, I remember doing a bronze medallion in school, but things have changed, and that's yes. what I didn't realise. Like the number of compressions if you're giving CPR. Yeah, can you explain how much things have changed? Things have changed in. Things have changed because of the community and the fact that technology has changed as well and, you know, better medical practice has shown that we don't need to do certain things. That auto-defibrillator, once it's got a rhythm back in place and it, it will tell you to do CPR and it's got a tone that goes dum, dum, dum as for your to compressions it, yes. okay. and then it says breathe, breathe. So it's two to 30 compressions, two breaths. And if, so you don't even really need to know, if you just listen to that machine, it right. will get you through how to do it. Yeah. Um, but also with kits here, like I've bought some kits to show you. And can I just mention, by the way, I've got a complimentary gift kit, one of these, for both of you to take oh, away today. Thank you very thank much. You. That's and very we nice. want to offer you current first aid training, level two. Uh, look, I I'm, I'm so going to take so you up on it. I got such a fright offer. on the weekend hearing that awful story. It's an offer from St John, so... Look, we should point much, out that this is the main fundraising effort, isn't it? This is the main way that St John makes... The, 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 the sale of the kits, the, the sale of the training courses that we have, and by all means jump on our website, because the website and the telephone number is mm. sta it's nationally wide. And this is only a small section of kits. We have a variety of kits. I mean, the, we have marine kits. Coastal kits for ocean for, boat and for boats and stuff, and the best thing about them they float. So even if your boat sinks, you can still so we, <laughs> you know, to get the gear out. What are, I mean, what are the essentials? I mean, obviously we can't mm. we can't load them up with uh, with hypodermic syringes and things like mm. that. No, but no, the no, essentials no. are what the essentials are. Triangular. If you look at some of the items here, we've got band aids, basic band aids, tape. Um, gloves are a big thing these days because of infection control, so you always get gloves which weren't sort of around 20 years ago. Alcohol swabs, um, tweezers. Scissors, triangular bandage, crepe bandages. It's about stemming a bleed or a haemorrhage somewhere quite quickly. And obviously, first aid has a position, as I said, but we'd need to call triple zero if you need the ambulance and get the ambulance here. Let them take care of it. The other thing that's interesting, years ago we always thought of the Mercura Chrome and the Savlon and the Dettol and, and all those big bottles in your kit. Yeah. We're sort of moving away from that because of the fact that they can go out of date and things like that. So when you see alcohol swabs and certain burn things, you might get five or six small disposable things in a little pack now so you can use a fresh one next time. Yeah. But the other thing with that is one of our businesses, which is fantastic, which is kit servicing. We provide a kit servicing mobile service to go and replenish your kit. We have some sites with 40, 45 work sites, 40 mm. workplace kits, mm. um, and we just have a three monthly roster. We go and service That's them. Because, don't top it up. Yes. because if you don't service your kit and fill it up, it could be empty one day when you need to go save a life. Yeah, yeah. And, and look, and I, I was really interested. You, you mentioned the marine kits. I was really interested to learn about the snake bite kits. And there's the... an outdoor kit, and, mm. and if, there's actually like an outdoor kit for an, it's called an excursion kit, and it's in a little backpack, like a little. You know, mm. you can just wear on your back and walk around. Because so you need walking. your kits to be relevant to the activity you're doing. That's right. You? Kits suit the environment <coughs> and the training suits the kit. Mm. That's what I sort of say. So if you can put all those tools together, there's no point having all the glossy kits and the great kits if you don't have the training to back it up. Mm. Yeah, exactly. Although right, with that defib, at least you've got the, uh, the verbal command yeah, on the way. Which absolutely. Can... <laughs> Thank you so much for your time this morning. Thank you very yeah. much. It's Thanks, a very Jonathan. timely reminder. Thank you. It absolutely great. is. Thank you. After the break, the whitewashed houses, cobbled laneways and endless skies which melt lazily into the velvet blue of the Mediterranean right here in our kitchen. If you believe, they will come in the pan of the marvellous Rick Stein. Shiny, happy people. It was a tragedy.